You see, this is authentic Cuban coffee, and you see that foam in the top? We call it espumita. My mouth is watering already, wanting to taste some of that espumita. And Cuban coffee, you take it like shots. Salud. It is sweet and strong, and that gives you enough caffeine now to be running for two hours. So we can shoot for another two hours and I'll be fine. Let's do it. My name is George Lapour, and I am the co-founder and managing partner of Cuban Guys Restaurants. I'm Cuban American because I am part Cuban and part American. And that is a reflection of what Cuban guys is. It's a combination of a fusion of what a Cuban root learned when they came to the United States. We've been around for 10 years now. We own and operate five restaurants and a food truck. The most popular item and the one that kind of ignited the Cuban guys project was La Frita Cubana. La Frita Cubana is nothing more than a Cuban burger. This is my secret Frita recipe. Not even my employees do it. I do this mixture myself at night when no one's watching. If I tell you what's in here, I'll have to kill you. All we do is we get the ground beef and we infuse it with flavors. We put some of the spices, garlic, onion, paprika, that gives it a smoky chorizo-like flavor that you don't need to add any ingredients to it. That's the beauty in the making there. So we put a spice pack in there that when you bite into that frita, you taste the meat different than a burger meat. If I work here, I come to Cuban guys every day, and if I don't have frita at least three times a week, I crave it. The frita cubana originated on the streets of Havana back in 1938. Friteros, which is called the guy that makes the frita, and you know, whenever you went to a club or whenever you went to the movies, it would be a normal thing outside seeing a fritero selling fritas. And it's just a moving cart and it would just make the fritas right then and there. They had lined up people waiting to, to, to buy their fritas because they're so tasty and they're so good. Back in the days, 1930s, it wouldn't be a bad scene to see a fritero outside a movie theater with a line of 20 people deep waiting for him to make a fritas. So after you do that frita, you go ahead and you hand pack the patties into four ounce portions, frita bowl. And this is what we put on the flat grill. And the technique to cook this is you smash it. And then you drizzle it with a frita sauce that gives it that delicious taste that our customers come here for. The Cuban bread is a key to the success because Cuban bread is unique. Cuban bread is a lard based bread that it's got a very short shelf life. Cuban bread the following day gets really hard already. So we do get daily delivery from our bakery. I wanted to make it affordable for the masses. We can kind of cut back on the fanciness and put it on a street food presentation, be able to reach a wider variety of people. It's worked out for us. Our customers love it. Thank you so much for your support. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye -bye. Right now we're going to Matter Bay Academy. They're having a bazaar and they invited our food truck to go sell to their families there. It's twofold uh, for us. Number one, we get our brand out to uh, the public, people that have not had a chance to stop here at our Palmetto Bay location. And then number two, we are involved with the communities and the schools and uh, we give the school back a percentage of the revenues. What a beautiful sight. So the prepping and all of that is done at the location. And then over here, we do have a mobile kitchen where we cook the, the fritas and we cook the steak sandwiches. That's why you got the lines. You see, everything's coming out to order. Well, today we had uh, some, some vaca frita uh, sandwich mm -hmm. with some fries. Um, we've had them before and they've been great uh, every time. And today they didn't disappoint. I go, we told George this would be back. Uh, I love us. it. I love it. I thought it was going to be a normal event, but this is overwhelming. I, I should I have known you. that and I would have bought an extra truck because it's great. I love it. I was born in Havana, Cuba. I came to the United States when I was 12 years old. I was brought up in the restaurant industry since that day. That's all I've done, restaurants. I worked my way up from a simple cook in the back of Burger King to a general manager. After I found my passion in the restaurant industry, I stayed within business, I studied business, and my dream was always to build a fast casual Cuban restaurant. Every time I was cooking food from other, other chains, I would go like, man, if I were doing this for myself with some great flavor in Cuban food, that would be a great idea. That one day I just took the leap of faith and said, you know what, I'm gonna do it. If I don't do it today, I will never do it. There's no job that it's a bad job or any job that it's uh, 
something you need to be embarrassed about. You know, when I worked a minimum wage job at a fast food restaurant, I was proud of that. I used every opportunity to my gain. And, you know, I used my years as a Burger King employee to learn and to better myself. When I was cooking burgers, I learned how to cook burgers. And then I looked at the cashier and I said, I want to learn how to do that. Then I became a cashier. And when I was a cashier, I saw the shift manager organizing the, te the team. I said, oh, one day I want to do that. And the learning that you get at that low pay job is the footing for your future success. This is Miami's favorite snack. It's called a croqueta. We sell a ton of these. Croqueta is a snack. You can have it for lunch, for breakfast, for dinner. We even have a croqueta sandwich. And we actually grind the ham and make it into these little bricks, breaded and this minced, and it's really, 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 really tasty. This is very traditional Cuban finger food because they're delicious. Growing up, with a communist regime. Coming as a kid in school, they tell you communist is great, uh, we need to do this, and you know, the, the Yankees are out to get us, and the United States is such a bad country because they're repressing us. And you know, looking around and see no progress and see devastation. And then, you know, my, my mother was not with the government and they're harassing her continuously until she decided I have to leave this country because I don't have life and my kids don't have a future. So I came here when I was 12 years old and all I had was the clothes in my back. And through working a lot, I feel that I reached the American dream. I have a debt to this country that I will not ever be able to repay. The American dream is to be free and to achieve your goals. I, my dream was to have my own restaurant and now I have my own chain of restaurants. Here we are with five restaurants and, and very successful and we're very loved by our local communities. My challenge, and this will happen in the future, is when I take Cuban guys outside of Florida, where the Cuban community is not as dense and convince the non-Cubans to come try our food and fall in love with it. 